Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Blue Jays versus Yankees Major League Baseball matchup on Saturday, June 29, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have products meant for people that make bigger bets, people with big bankrolls looking for that VIP concierge style service. We offer these products, they're just not available on the website. They're still easy to get. You just gotta text the number you see on the screen. These are our highest end premium products. So these aren't for everyone and it's not a free trial or free pick line, but if it does fit your budget, it's great. If not, we've got plenty of other great things for you here at Pick Dogs. But let's get to it. We've got the Blue Jays taking on the Yankees. Chris Bassett on the bump for the Jays. It is Nestor Cortez Jr. on the mound for the Yankees. Of course, the Yankees are struggling of late in the Blue Jays. It's been a struggle of a season, but I think for the Yankees, over 20 games, over 500 at this point, you know, I think many teams would be fine with uh, having a little bump in the road in the middle of the season. I mean, the Yankees had a major run during the course, uh, you know, during just a few weeks ago. Cortez Jr. has not been bad but he hasn't been fantastic either, especially recently. Um, but the thing is, you know, that's the way the Yankees have gone. But, uh, you know, his overall numbers have been good, even if they haven't yielded the results that the Yankees are looking for. You know, he only gave up three runs last time out against the Atlanta Braves. He has pitched over 100 innings now, 102 thirds, 90 hits allowed, 38 earned runs, 93 strikeouts, 13 home runs and 18 walks. So the home runs and walks, not all that bad. But uh, like I said, Cortez... Generally, you know, it, it hasn't been good enough, you know, in, in his last three starts, 2.25 ERA. We look at the other side of it, Chris Bassett here for the Blue Jays. And the Blue Jays, there's been talk of them breaking it down and, you know, starting it over. And I think Bassett would be a tradable commodity. He's given up two runs in each of his last two starts. That was against the Boston Red Sox. Checks in with a 3.45 ERA, allowing 90 hits over 91 and a third innings of work. 35 earned runs, 83 strikeouts eight home runs but 35 walks so way high in those walk numbers for Chris Bassett this season but all his other numbers have been pretty strong you know we look at the way these teams are hitting the baseball and the Blue Jays versus left-handed pitching which they face here today have been absolutely clubbing the baseball hitting 333 over their last 10 games while the Yankees facing the righty, hitting just 194 versus righties, they're hitting just 199 versus lefties. So this slump that they're in right now is real, and a lot of it has to do with the offense. The Yankees' bullpen has also imploded, going from a season ERA of 3.58 all the way up to 6.08, while the Blue Jays... Going in the other direction, 4.52 bullpen ERA down to 3.50. I got to say, I haven't been a big fan of the Blue Jays this season. I'm still not. And I still think they need to break it down. I still think the Yankees, yeah, they're going to get over this and they're going to eventually move forward, but just doesn't don't see it right now. I'm going to take the Blue Jays and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.